right, welcome to my weekly video blog. Um, this week we've got an important date coming up. Tomorrow, in fact. Uh, Sunday the 9th of February. For those of you who have followed my blogs, you will know that uh, a few years ago, when I started doing these blogs, I was in a very different place. Renting uh, a flat, and not a very nice flat, uh, in Granville. And two years ago, uh, as we had started our five-year plan, uh, we were successful in moving. And we moved here to Markenfield. Now, the date of completion, that is the point at which I legally owned the house, although I didn't move in uh, until a little bit later, uh, was <coughs> the 9th of February. So tomorrow marks two years of the acquisition of Mark and Field. Last year, on the one year anniversary, we planted our miniature Weeping Pussy Willow. This year, do you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't really got any plans to do anything big. Um, it's funny because I'm still calling this my new house and I have actually been here two years now. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but there we are. Of course, that also means that uh, it's time to renegotiate the mortgage. Now, I can't remember if I brought this up in blogs at the time, but uh, I was worried a few weeks ago because I knew that I had a two-year fixed contract that started on the 9th of February, and uh, I had thought that I would have to rearrange the mortgage by this point. Uh, a long story short, I made several trips to the bank and looked online as well and eventually we discovered that actually the two year fixed mortgage doesn't come to an end until uh, the start of April, so it's slightly more than two years and that the bank still uh, wanted to send me uh, all my details um, and negotiation plans, you know, two months in advance, but we haven't actually reached that point yet. So I agreed to wait uh, on them for that to happen. It has now happened. Um, do you know, there's something a bit strange about this, and that's that the bank don't seem to really want to meet and discuss it in person. And I think that's because uh, my bank and the, uh, the mortgage lenders are not actually quite the same thing. Um, I know this because it's the same with their credit card. You know, you go into the bank and they can sort that out, banking stuff out for you. But if you want to sort out your credit card or your mortgage, you have to phone somebody else. Um, and the best they can really offer me is, is some sort of phone interview with, with somebody. So, what are we supposed to do? Well, the idea is that we look online, in fact, and um, what I'm looking for is a five-year fixed mortgage at about the same rate I'm doing now. Um, so, I don't want to move banks because that would incur a dreadful charge. You know, if you add it to your mortgage, then, you know, it's like you haven't paid off a year. <laughs> and if you don't well, where do you get the spare money lying around from? So I'm going to have a look at that this weekend. And hopefully by next weekend, I'll be able to tell you that I have sorted that out in favour of myself. If not, we do have a couple of weeks to get this sorted. It doesn't need to be sorted until uh, April. But it does need to be sorted by then, or we'll revert back to uh, you know the the variable one, which I don't want to do. Uh, not because it's much higher in this day and age as financial climates go at the moment, but because I don't want to. I can't budget if I don't know exactly what's going out. Do you know uh, we haven't been to the allotment um, in a bit because of the second wave of bad storms that we've had here in the UK and it is slightly beginning to dry out here so I'm hopeful to be able to get there tomorrow. Uh, we are at the stage where we're hopefully going to be digging in the trefoil uh, and the winter tears now um, but I have heard that we've also been given some fruit bushes uh, which need planting so that looks exciting. 
The seeds that we ordered have arrived and in fact the sweet peas were planted two weeks ago here in Markenfield. We had two different types of sweet pea. Uh, we had uh, six plant pots and we put five in each. So five, ten, fifteen of each one and that's thirteen total. I have about a third of them two weeks later uh, now beginning to show signs of sprouting. So that's brilliant. They are a tiny bit early, but we wanted to get them underway, um, you know. So that's something that's looking up. We're halfway now to the vernal equinox, which will be the point at which it's uh, light and dark during the day are the same amount of time, astronomically speaking, and it will be light enough in the evening for me to make my return to going to the allotment two to three evenings a week after work. So I'm looking forward to that. This week has been a bad week. It's been a bad week for uh, a number of, of, of reasons, um, both personally and professionally, to be totally honest. Um, I can't really talk about any of them, uh, you know, either the personal or the, or the professional, but things have been quite bad this week. Not quite as bad uh, as, as last week, um, but pretty bad. Um, and so obviously I haven't been quite as good with the health kit this week as I was last week. And I do need to get that, that sorted out again. Um, I would just say to uh, you, and I've probably said this before, that you know we live in an age where we believe that there are so many people on the planet that bad things can't happen to us and bad things can't happen to members of our family. And every so often you get a shock, a near miss, uh, where you know something could have gone absolutely tragically wrong. Um, I'm pleased to say that nothing like that has happened, uh, but we have had a shock this week. And um, I think that just serves to, uh, to show that perhaps we ought to make sure that we you know, are letting people know that we value them and that we're making the most of them and not taking for granted uh, what we have because things can change dramatically you know it could be you and it could be you next and I suppose a shock uh, to the system does no harm if it wakes one up in in that uh, in that way does it birthdays everybody but first uh, there are a number of fighters fighting this week last week I think I forgot mm, oops to mention that uh, Todd Brown is fighting and I think he's fighting tonight uh, so I may well have not uh, missed this after all. I don't know. Uh, whenever MFL 33 was due to happen, uh, that is when he was supposed to be fighting. Um, so apologies for the fact this is belated, uh, but there we are. Uh, the other person I have written down on my list uh, is Jesse Ronson, but that is not until uh, next week, as in sort of the end of next week um, so there we are uh, okay birthdays then uh, we've got Richie Whitson uh, Tony Ferguson Emily uh, Boomer from the forum uh, Joey Dial Micah Miller Kenny Robertson, uh, Callum Bellaby, Stephen Siler, Ricky Moore, another one from the forum, uh, Ian Mapplebeck, Zelg Galazic, Julie Roundtree, uh, and that's it. So that's quite a lot <laughs> for next week. Um, and I think that's all in terms of fighters fighting. Uh, for this week. So there we are. Happy birthday to all of them uh, and good luck to those who are competing.